Hello everybody and welcome to another part of The Sims 4 All-in-One. So as you can see, um, we're with someone a little different today, but I will get to that in a minute. So um, just a quick little update about the channel. So we do have 17 subscribers um, and I was giving some thought to doing a um, kind of and about the channel video, like not really a channel update because the channel hasn't been up this that long. So I'm thinking of doing kind of just um, a where is this channel going video sort of thing, like what you can expect, especially with the new year, um, kind of like a resolution video, I guess. Um, so but at the same time, um, one of you had a good suggestion of doing a and a video and that actually would is actually a really good idea. Um, so I was thinking that with this channel video, I'm thinking of probably going over and explaining everything that I am envisioning for this, but I don't want to be putting out content that you guys don't want to watch. So having like a and a video within this video is where I'm thinking of going. So if you guys have any comments, any suggestions, anything like that, go ahead and post them down below or on any video um, for that matter. And I will get around to compiling them all in a little list. And during the channel video, I will answer them to the best of my ability. Um, so yeah, I'm not too comfortable talking about myself that much just because this is the internet. This is, you know, a broader world than stepping outside your front door, I guess. Um, so really personal things will probably not be discussed. But, you know, I don't mind telling you guys about my job. I don't mind telling you about my dog. I don't mind telling you about things like that. But as far as anything else goes, I'm kind of still lenient to do things like that. Just because I don't know, the world has gone crazy, guys, the world is on fire. So um, yeah, so if you guys have any comments, questions, suggestions, anything like that, go ahead and post them down below, and I will work on um, putting them into this, answering them in this channel video once we hit uh, 20 subscribers. If we don't hit 20 subscribers by the new year, I probably will still do the Q&A video. I'll just do something a little different, but yeah, so... Yep, that's my little ramble. So we can get into the gameplay here. So we are here with Envy. Um, and the reason we're here with Envy is because she just has me like so intrigued, you guys. Like, I don't know what it is about her, but number one, she's gorgeous. Number two, I didn't know she had a son. And that just opened up so many new avenues of like questions and like, you know, where, what's her story and things like that and I am a storyteller to the max you guys so just seeing that she had a son and that you know she's really kind of closed off from the world and everything like that I just it really drew me in I don't know why it just really did so what I noticed about Envy is that she was not placed in the world so I actually had to put her in the world in her own apartment and her son does not have a father he's got no father listed so I don't know if she is a sim that was just made by EA and just had no description or if um, I accidentally downloaded her or something. I have no idea. So it's, she's like a mystery and I love it. So in my head, I've compiled this whole story for her and, and her son. And I'm just, I'm so excited to share it with you guys because yeah, so this is her and her son. This is Axel Parik Parik. I think it's how you say it, Parik. And they're just watching a movie together right now, and it's the cutest thing. But yeah, so as you can see, he is obviously of a mixed race, which just stirs even more questions about: Is he African American? Is he Indian? Is he, or American Indian, I should say, or is he Indian, or is he um? just like what is he and I know that's like an odd thing but I'm just I'm so intrigued you guys I don't know what it is call me crazy but I love it I love it so much so yeah this is him he is a cutie he is an absolute cutie his style pretty much matches his mom he's got like these ripped jeans going on so plaid shirt like they are the cutest 
and their relationship is actually, I mean, really good. So it tells me that, like, she really, really loves her son. So this isn't kind of like a single mom doing bad type of thing, you know, out on the streets, you know, that sort of thing. Like, she's really here for her son and taking care of him. And just, yeah, so this is our apartment. Um, I did it up a little bit because this apartment is actually... It was really ugly, you guys. It had, like, purple um, cabinets and yellow walls, and it was just... I had to do it up a little bit. And then, so this is Anvi's room, and then there's two beds in here, um, but he only needs one, uh, which I don't know why you would put two kids in here. Holy cow, can you imagine? So, yeah, their apartment is nothing to sneeze at, you guys. Um, and... Yeah, and they, 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 he was setting the table when I put him in to the thing. It was the cutest thing. Um, but look at them. It's like mother daughter bonding, even though the TV's not on. Oh, the movie's over. Uh, boring movie. Oh, that stinks. But he loved it. Oh, I love it. She sat and watched a movie with her son just to make sure. Okay, so I'm going to have her clean this up. I'll put that away for leftovers. Um, and then do you have homework? Oh, it's already completed. Awesome. 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 Okay, put that in there. So I'm going to have them go to bed, you guys, and I will catch up with you in the morning. All right, you guys. So Axel is awake. He is going to go and um, get ready for school. He's got class in two hours. What are you doing? Make a mess. No, do not make a mess. Oh my gosh, that is the one thing I cannot stand. Okay, so uh, clean out spoiled food. Uh, have some cereal for breakfast. Your mom is still sleeping. So um, as far as Anvi goes, so she is a, let's see, she's a dance machine. She's good and she's a foodie. And she's got the essence of flavor because she wants to be a master mixologist. So I kind of had the thought that... Um, Anvi wants to own her own bar, and so I just, I really think that she really wants to do well for her son, and she just, she wants to be like an entrepreneur and just, you know, be able to take care of him, and, you know, like, just prove to people that she doesn't need a man to take care of her or her son. Now, um... I don't know what backstory you guys think probably happened to the father. I know I have one um, in mind that maybe, um, you know, Anvi was like a, is like a teen parent because I believe she is a young adult. Um, yeah, she's a young adult. So maybe Anvi was like a teen parent because he is a child already. So I'm thinking that she had him at a very young age and maybe the father wasn't very kind to Anvi, if you know what I mean, and um, probably like abusive and really didn't want Axel. And I think to get herself out of a, you know, bad situation, she took Axel from the father and moved to the city. And I don't know, I just that story appeals to me because Anvi just seems like she seems like a, you know, a really good mom, like a badass mom. And I just feel like, I don't know, it just it I love, I, I just love the story, I guess. I don't know. So, because she's just a sweet little boy. And I feel like maybe Anvi had some doubts about having him. But then, you know, just look at his cute little face. And she just, every day she wakes up to him and is just grateful for him. I don't know. Um, congrats on landing that sweet job. I think this is going to get be great for you. Look at this. Okay, so this just kind of like seals the deal on my little backstory. Like, I think this is going to be great for you. I love it. I just, like, yeah, it's going to be good for her to finally have a job, get where she needs to be, you know? So she is um, an assistant dishwasher at a restaurant. Um, I'm thinking that that is just the one step she needs to start owning a bar. So, yeah, I'm going to have her go ahead and wake up and um, use the bathroom and then we're going to actually ha make ourselves breakfast because that's part of her getting promoted. So let's make yourself a fruit salad. And so, um, let's see. What can we do with her today? I think I want to um, improve her mixology skill. So I think part 
of um, Anvi like trying to provide for her son because obviously being a dishwasher is not going to pay a lot. I'm thinking that she will go to like random bars and mix drinks for people and earn tips that way. I think that would be like a good idea. I don't even know if you can earn tips in the mixology skill or if you do that, but it's worth a shot, you know, and at least it'll be getting up our skill so that way we can get promoted and get more money because she makes 15 an hour, you guys. Like how realistic is that? to be honest I mean like honestly that's kind of unrealistic because I make 15 an hour and I work in a vet office oh look there's Arabella um yeah Arabella actually lives in the apartment up here um <laughs> so yeah it was like this was the cheapest apartment in the city and it just happened to be right next to Arabella I didn't even realize that until I put her down and realized that this was the same so yeah but that's okay. We live like right next to our best friend. So that's, that's nice. And I feel like Arabella is probably going to help, um, Anvi and her son as best as she can. So that's why I'm still giving some thought to having them move in together eventually. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, because I'm just, I'm totally like drawn to these Sims right now. So she's got cooking level two. She can make eggs and toast, BLT, chips and salsa, and fish tacos. She's also learned a cool new combo ad trick. Okay. Oh. So I think I'm going to go ahead and have um, Anvi travel um, to the library um, with Arabella. Uh, no, not Arabella. We'll take her another day. This is something we kind of need to do on our own, I guess. Um, it's just studying. So... Um, for the mixology skill, we're going to find a book um, so we can get our skill up because at the moment we have no skill. So she's just, look at her gussing herself up. Oh my gosh. Like she's going to meet a hot date at the library. Oh my gosh. That, uh, wow. What is that? Hot head? Spicy head? Uh, oh, he, spicy foods don't bother him. Okay, I wonder how he got that. Weird. Okay, um, all right, whatever works. So she's gonna go to the library. All right, so, um, let's see. Is there a library in this town? I don't think there is. Um, there's a gallery. Oh, there's actually galleries. Okay, I think I was questioning that the other day. I'm not sure okay anyway um let's look at willow creek here um we can go to this well hmm. i don't think it really matters what library we go to but i kind of want to like go to a like i don't know i don't know why i'm so picky why am i being picky about a library you guys oh my gosh i'm literally being picky about a library right now i just want to see like, these worlds are so new to me that I just, I'm, like, looking at everything. Like, I have to look at every library like it's important. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so we're just going to go to this library. Holy cow. That was, that was insane. She's flirty. Oh, my gosh, girl, why are you flirty? This is her outfit, by the way. Um, I thought it was cute and kind of, like, not really bikerish, but it kind of sets the tone for, like, she's kind of like a rebel or a renegade. Um, okay, so there's no school books on there. All right, so let's, is there a computer? Yes. Okay, so you can order books. So I'm going to have her order um, a skill book. There we go. Skill book um, for mixology. She only needs one. Um, they are quite expensive, or at least they are in The Sims 3. Well, they don't look too expensive. Well, maybe. Um, so let's look for the mixology one. Gourmet cooking. There we go. Mixology level one. We're just going to get one of those. 75 simoleons. No big deal. And yeah, let's go ahead and read that. So yeah. Um, I'm thinking that I also want her to go to a bar and get some tips if that's possible. I think it is. Pen pal. Okay, that was odd. Who are you? What? I don't even know what that was. Okay, so yeah, um, I'm thinking that she can go, I think she can tend a bar and she can get tips and work on her skill. 
Um, I don't see her owning really, she could own a restaurant slash bar, um, in the future. And like, maybe, um, Axel can help her like make up the kids menu for it and go to work with her and stuff. I think that would be super cute if he like were to help her. So there's her aspiration. Um, and it says to own a bar. So that actually like really helps. But how do you buy a bar? Like, if she were to buy, a like, an actual bar, that would be awesome. But I don't know. Because I know in The Sims 3, you can buy a bar by um, uh, just clicking on a... on a, a, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. A community lot and just buying it for a large sum of money. But I don't think we can do that. There's buy restaurant, but there's not buy a bar. So can we just go to any bar in town and buy it? Or what? I'm, I'm lost. Leave a comment down below if you know how to buy a bar, you guys. Because is it buy a restaurant or can you buy, I mean, let's see, there's no buy vet clinic, buy restaurant. No, there's nothing in here but buying a bar or buying more property. Can you own multiple property in The Sims 4 or can you only do that in The Sims 3? I don't know, you guys. Leave a comment down below and let me know because I'm such a noob. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. Oh my gracious. Okay. So, um, is she finished reading that book? No. I'm good. I mean, I really want to know how to buy a bar now. I really do. Because if we could buy a bar, that would be so awesome. But of, obviously, he would not be allowed to come. So, yeah, I don't know, you guys. Let me know in the comments down below if you know the answer to that question. Okay, so Amvi finished reading her book, so I'm going to have her go ahead and travel and find a um, bar she can tend and make some tips at and practice making drinks because she needs to get that skill up. Um, I'm also going to have Anvi really pay attention to the cooking skill because if she's going to own a restaurant slash bar, she's going to need to know how to make meals and things like that. Wouldn't it be, I think, I still think it would be so cute if Axel would learn the cooking skill with her. And as a teenager, he like helped her run the um, restaurant and the bar and stuff like that. I just, I don't know why. I just think that'd be super cute. Okay, so I actually had Anvi just go to the bar that was right down the street. Um, Anvi's a dance machine. Yeah. Play the Sims 4 for five hours. I've definitely played The Sims 4 for longer than five hours, but whatever. Okay, so, um, shiny new outfit. So, can we tend the bar? Yes, tend the bar. I wonder if we'll get tips. Because, don't get a drink. Tend the bar. Oh my gosh. Wait for a drink. No, girl, girl, no. Why would you get a drink? Tend the bar. Can we dismiss him, please? Like, can we, can we just... Oh, gosh. Okay, well, this is not going how I thought it would go. Is there another bar up top? No. Okay, well, I really would like to tend the bar. Like, get out of my way, old man. Okay, so, go ahead. Yeah, he's not doing anything. So, just wait for him, I guess? listen to pop no don't listen to pop get out of the way <laughs> I want to tend the bar I don't think he's gonna move you guys oh wait is he it says hire a mixologist so I don't know what that means Ugh. he's not gonna move dang it okay well we'll have to oh there we go okay so stop that 10 bar he got out of the way. Awesome. Axel is done with school for the day. He is doing satisfactory work, but his teachers at Landgrab Elementary think he could easily improve with just a little bit of extra effort. Okay, well, that's nice. Okay, so she's tending the bar. Um, Let's see. Practice making drinks while you're there. There we go. Okay, so what is Axel doing? Can he do his homework? Um, Tidy up. No. Okay. So he can take care of himself. Uh, I don't want to bring him here because this is kind of an unsavory place. Um, can we... Oh, wrong. Ten bar, practice making drinks. So, okay, so she's tending the bar. Someone did order something. Do we just have to kind of stand here and... Okay. So we'll keep 
practicing. I guess if you're practicing to make drinks, it doesn't actually do what you're supposed to. Which is fine. Oh, is she going to come order something? Oh, yes. Okay, so stop that. There we go. Okay, awesome. She's making drinks. This is awesome. Okay, so she can probably earn tips this way, I'm hoping. And um, she'll be able to earn some more money for her and the kid. Awesome, you guys. Okay. It's happy hour for all of you cheapskate sims. Everyone enjoys your drinks at a discounted price. Oh my gosh, you guys, that is insane. Yes, mix 10 drinks. Okay, so she needs to do 10 to get that skill. She mixed two so far. And then own two bar stools. So, yeah, I really want to know how she buys the bar. Oh, wait a minute. Own a bar. I'm pretty sure I'm such an idiot. Um, I'm pretty sure it just means own this. <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys, I thought it actually meant own an, a bar, which, hey, we could totally, like, stretch that. We could totally, like, make her have to actually own a bar, but it's just, it just means this. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Oh well, it's fine. I still like the idea of her having to buy a bar to be a really good mixologist. So we'll have to see, um, we'll have to invest in that. So is anyone else going to order drinks? Once it hits like 530, I think I'm going to stop because we need to get home to our son. Um, I think that him being home alone is fine. Like Anvi trusts him. She's raised him to know, you know, not to answer the door, to call her if he needs anything. Like, I think Anvi is a very street smart sim. Oh, look at that. That was awesome. Um, and I think she's taught her son to be the same way. I know that my parents left me alone, like, all the time when I was a kid. Not till I was, like, a little bit older, like, maybe, uh, six. <laughs> because, um, I had to take care of my little sister, and they both had to work. So, they trusted me to be home alone with her. Like, I knew what to do and what not to do. I was, you know, it was fine. I don't think that that's, like, anything bad. So, I don't know, whatever. I turned out fine. <laughs> So, okay, so I think she's going to go ahead and head home because she needs to make dinner for him. Um, oh, she's, yep, she's going to go home. Okay. And she also stinks. And it is not okay to be serving drinks while you stink. <laughs> I need to put that on a t-shirt. Don't serve drinks when you stink. Okay, so she's going to go home and take care of her son. And... I'm thinking that uh, she's going to make them like a little dinner and they're going to sit down and like watch a movie again. I just, I see Anvi as a very like motherly person, but to like maybe to other people, she doesn't come off that way. She comes off as like very, um, like I feel like she keeps him a secret because I mean, I didn't know about him. I didn't know about him until I went to go do, um, give her a makeover. So I feel like that she keeps Axel very, very secret, very private. I think maybe she's afraid that the father will come back into Axel's life and like want to be around him or maybe just to make their lives miserable. I don't know, you guys. So maybe keeping him a secret is a good thing. So how hungry are you, dear? You're actually not. Okay, so why don't you go work on your homework until your mom gets dinner ready and she can help you. I mean, you're not hungry, so I guess we don't need to make you dinner. <laughs> it sounds really horrible, but I mean... Okay, so um, we're going to have her just eat some leftovers. And then he's doing his homework. Look at him, studying away. So he has no emotional control. He has manners and responsibility. So what is emotional control, though? Sims who can redirect their negative emotions can build emotional control. They can do several winding down interactions on radios and instruments or jog to clear their mind. Having an emotional breakdown, shoving or biting, 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 what, what will negatively impact emotional control. Destroying dollhouses or school project bosses will also decrease this value. What? Biting? Your children can bite people? Are you serious? Okay. Alrighty then. So that's a thing, I guess. That's awkward. 
Okay, so will you please finish with your bath? You Girl, you are clean. Hurry up. Your child could be starving. He's not, but he could be. I'll get you some leftovers. You're like not making anything. Okay, and then use this. So she, um, she doesn't work until tomorrow. But everything is complete for her to do. Oh, look, she's going to go sit in here and talk to him while he does his homework. Why don't you, can you help him with his homework while you're eating? Is that a thing? Help with homework. Don't go to the bathroom. Help him with his homework if you can. I don't think you can. No. Look at him. He is so cute. I just, I really think that joke about chicken butt. Oh my gosh, you guys. That is so cute. She's just chatting with him. He's almost done with his homework. He, she does not need to help him. Forget that. He can do it on his own. He is a big boy. He can do it. Oh, I just love them. I love them so much. I just, I don't know, you guys. I love Arabella, too. But I feel like that I just have, like, more, like, I don't know. I'm, like, drawn to them. I don't understand. Homework complete. Awesome. Anyway. So he is going, he finished his homework, so I'm going to have him, um, he can watch TV for a little bit. Um, oh, he's sitting with his mom. Oh my gosh, that was so cute. It was nice while it lasted. <laughs> okay, so she's going to go to the bathroom. I'm actually going to have her clean up this house because it's like a little gross. We need to clean this up. And um, rent is not due. So yeah. She goes to work tomorrow, which I'll show. Will you pick that up as well, please? Oh my gosh. So hopefully, you know, she'll still be able to provide for her and Axel. They have um, a decent amount of money, but when the rent comes in, it's going to be hard. And she still needs to, like, buy things for him, get groceries, you know, things like that. Still be able to take care of him. So hopefully... Um, she can, you know, still take care of him and her. So yeah, I think I'm going to end this part here, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this part, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. In the next part, we will be returning to Arabella. Um, I think I have an idea of where I want her career to kind of go. Um, when I was giving on the, the one career, I saw Critic. And so I feel like that I don't want Arabella to be limited to just the painter career because it kind of does take a little bit out when she has to be gone for so much of the day and I'm like skipping through it. So I kind of want to give her a career that we can like be a part of with her. So yeah, in the next part, we'll go back to Arabella and we might be making a career change for her, but we will see you in the next part and I'll see you guys then. Bye you guys.